Good morning, traders. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Excited to start off this week and on a green note today. Just the one and done. Been trading my edge and trading it exclusively. Buying fear, selling euphoria. Uh, today, uh, exercised a lot of patience. There's several different stocks that were on my radar. None that were kind of exactly perfect, but still going to play the ones that are looking good. If I get pocket pair of eights or nines, I'm still going to throw some chips on the table and see kind of what the flop is going to be, but going to start with that feeler position to get a feeler for the stock and to see if do we want to throw some more chips on it? Do we want to get to full position or do we want to just kind of cut that feeler position out? It's trading the edge and trading it exclusively, finding that and only trading that. Guys, let's get into it. GASL gapping up this morning and getting a pop out of the gates. Getting a little overextended RSI wise, but the chart's looking really bullish. Haven't been above the 50 day in a long time. It's got a lot of room to move on up. This is stock that the stars are not completely aligning here. Not sure I'll trade it. This is one I'm going to throw on the watch list though to see how extended we're going to get because we are continuing to pop on up right now. I'm going to turn my attention to a few others though. See what else is moving this morning. AIMT, we're seeing a lot of panic going on here. Get this drop in another 30, 40, 50 cents here. Trying to get this under 24. So far, it's just bouncing off 24. Trying to see if that's going to come down under 24. All right, I have an order out on that one. PBF, going to turn my attention here. This one's getting a nice sell off as well here out of the gates. See if that one can get under 23. It's a busy morning over here. We want these stocks to come to us, though. We're not going to be chasing. All about being patient, boys. No rush to get into these. Just trying to be patient. Okay, I just got a fill on AIMT. Uh, that was my first entry there. Uh, this is the daily chart I'm looking at. So this one is coming back down kind of to support here. Where it touched on Friday. It pulled back as well. Had a little lower shadow there. Then it climbed up some of the day. Uh, so feel good about that on AIMT. Seen a lot of panic here. Taking advantage of that emotion and getting a little starter position in on this stock. Uh, so far, I got in at 23.83, and if this wants to drop another point, you know, I'm completely fine with that. But I'm not gonna be anxious to add to this, you know, right near my other entry. Uh, I'm only gonna build a position here if we drop even further. That's what I'm looking for. If we drop further, which we are right now, wanna get another ad maybe under 23.50. If not, not going to be in any rush. It's Monday. Just trying to let the dust settle today and get a feel for the week. Start off on a green note and trying to be very patient. You know, I was really, really patient with this one. These are two minute candlesticks on the chart. So, two, four, six, eight, ten. Waiting about 10 minutes to get into this. I would really like a big, nice red candlestick. Kind of like that first one there at the start of the day. But my first entry was a feeler position. That's what it's called. It's called a feeler. Getting in. Uh, as a starter position, getting a feel for the stock. See, do I wanna build a position here? Do I wanna just cut it? Do I like what's going on with the stock? Is it what I expected? You know, so it allows some flexibility while still being, you know, rigid with your rules and rigid with your stop loss and how much you're willing to lose on each individual trade. But just like in poker, you're gonna throw a few chips out, you know, if it's looking like a good hand. But as the hand's unfolding, if it's not looking like you want it to if you're not going to flop, you know, you're set like you wanted. You may consider just punching out of it. GASL was just a beauty right there. Wasn't really a fan of the range here. I'll show you what I mean by that. Just intraday, this is the daily uh, chart, but these are intraday candles. It just doesn't move a whole lot. Not a lot of movement, uh, although it's already given us a point, you know, today. Uh, just didn't get excited about the range there. I want to see a lot of nice range on the day. I'll show you what I mean by that, such as AIMT. AIMT, look at the last few days here. We've gone up and down like about three points, so a lot of movement there. I'd like to see a really fast sell-off here under 23.50. I'm not really a fan of the slow, grindy ones that are just kind of moving down. We want to see fear. We want to see fear in the trader's eyes. That's what we want to see and take advantage of that. Not just kind of grinding downhill. Uh, we're getting a nice little pop right here up to 2380. 
Okay, traders, and I just took it right there about 2411 uh, just on the feeler. So that's why I really like starting with feelers. Because, uh, yeah, most of the time, 90% of the time, guys, getting in on these emotional trades, you're going to be red with the feeler. Uh, especially when you're going against the trend, uh, like I do. Uh, so what we'll do is, when we see a lot of panic, guys selling their longs, we see a lot of fear, take advantage of that emotion, hop into it with a feeler. I'm slightly red on it, but I'm wanting to see more panic. I don't want to see sideways consolidation. That's a sign it's healthy. What I want to see is more panic. I uh, didn't see that. Did not want to add so close into it, you know, to my first ad with my starter. Uh, going in about a quarter position size there on it. Was looking for another big red candle there. Didn't end up getting it, so didn't get another ad there on it. And didn't want another ad to be, you know, only 10, 15 cents away from my first. But that's okay right there. Got about 30 cents right there was just the starter position. I'm happy with that to start the week. Guys, let me know how you did in the comment section below. Smack that like button. We'll see you all first thing tomorrow.